Hi everyone, today what I will be doing is showing you guys how to wire multiple LEDs in a parallel circuit. This circuit tends to be the preferred choice for most people as it enables you to not use a lot of forward voltage from your power supply, enabling you to wire multiple LEDs into a parallel circuit. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right into what you'll need. Okay, to wire your LEDs, here's some of the things that you'll need. You'll need a soldering iron, some scissors to cut or strip your wire, you'll need some wire of any choice of your color, and we have about eight AA batteries here. Now, this could vary depending on what battery holster you choose. We have some solder for our soldering gun, and we here we have six LEDs. Now, these are multicolored RGB LEDs. Here we have two packs of resistors. Now, these resistors are going to vary greatly depending on what LEDs that you choose. At the top here, we have an extension cable for our battery harness. Now, this is optional. You don't necessarily need this extension cable, as we'll be cutting it later on in the video. And just to the left of that, we have our actual battery harness. Now, this extension cable just connects right onto the little dongle there. And you could also wire extra wire to the end of it if you choose not to use the extension cable. And then we just have some electrical tape. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to look at is the actual power supply. Now, this seems to be the biggest concern for a lot of people, is how am I going to power these LEDs? Well, if you want something that's portable, this is definitely the way to go. It's very light, it holds a lot of batteries, which could give you a lot of power, and if one battery dies, you could easily swap it out for another. So here we have our battery power supply. Now, this holds 8 AA batteries, giving you a total of 12 volts output. At the top, we have our red and black wire, red for positive and black for negative and it comes out to this little nifty connector at the end there. And below the power supply we actually have our extension cable. Now what's great about this is that to disable your LEDs all you have to do is unplug it from the battery power supply which makes it very convenient for you if you don't know how to wire like an on off switch and what we'll do is we'll just modify the end there to allow us to connect our leads. Now if you do not have the extension cable, all you have to do is cut off the end connector there and it will expose your red and black wire and all you have to do if you want to make the wires longer is solder some uh, this seems to be 20 or 22 gauge wire doesn't matter to the ends of that to extend your leads now this will take away the advantage of being able to disable your LEDs if you choose to not use the extension cable although you can easily add a toggle switch if you wish now in this video we're not going to go be going over that although if I do get enough request I can make a video on how to add a toggle switch you can purchase this battery power supply on any LED online reseller, or I have found it at my local Radio Shack. Okay, so first take your extension cable, and all we're going to do to this is modify the end a little bit. So grab a pair of scissors, and you're just going to take one end, well actually you need to have the right end, and snip the end off. Now make sure this is not the end that plugs into your power supply. And what this is going to do is expose your red and black wires. So all I did was stripped back some of the black shielding that was on the extension cable. Now if you do not have this extension cable, just go ahead and grab your power supply. And what you'll do is just cut the connector off right at that point, And that will expose the red and black wire. Now just be careful when you're stripping off the shielding on the wire as it is a little brittle. Okay, so as of right now, we actually finished modifying our power supply. So we could go ahead and move on to our next step. So next, just grab your roll of wire, and what we're going to be doing is making our positive and negative leads for our LEDs to wire in parallel. So all you need to do is grab your roll, and grab a pair of scissors, and measure out a length that will be suitable for your project. For my project, I'll just be using about 3 or 4 inches of the wire. So just go ahead and take your scissors and snip the end off. Now we'll actually need two of these, so measure out another length of the same and go ahead and cut it off as well. So here we have the two wires that we cut. Now what we need to do with this wire is strip the shielding all the way off the wire. Now you could do this with either scissors or what would be easier is to use some wire strippers. So if your wire starts fraying such as this, what we need to do is straighten it back into a straight line. So all you need to do is grab the wire and pinch the tip of it and just slowly twist. And what this is going to do is twist the wires back into a straight line. So here I have the two wires fully stripped of their shielding. Now this is probably the most difficult part of this project. If you can find some wires that have already been stripped of their shielding, then I definitely would go for those, as it's going to save you a lot of time. So what we're going to be doing with these two wires is soldering it to our positive and our negative leads that are coming off of our extension cable here. Now this is going to give us power for our LEDs and a way to mount our LEDs in parallel. So before we solder our leads to our extension cable, we need to add a resistor. 
Now what a resistor does is resist any extra current that the LEDs do not need and in this case we do need the resistor. So this is a resistor right here. You only need one resistor for this circuit and so all we need to do is take the resistor and we're going to just simply solder either end, it doesn't matter, it could go either way, to the red wire or positive wire coming off of our power supply. Now I would tell you guys what resistor I'm using, although it's probably going to be the wrong resistor for most people as you're probably not going to be using the same exact LEDs that I'm using. So what I recommend doing is going on Google and Google search for a resistor calculator in parallel and what you all you have to do is enter in the information of your LEDs. Now you can find the information of your LEDs on usually the back of the packet that it comes in and it's going to tell you what resistor you're going to need for your circuit. So what I went ahead and did is I soldered one end of our resistor to our extension cable that's coming off our power supply. And then what I did was I took the wire that we stripped and I soldered it to the other end of our resistor. Now this is our positive or hot wire that we're going to be using to power our LED. Now all you have to do is take your other stripped wire and go ahead and solder it to our negative leg. And you do not need to solder another resistor. This is what it should look like after you solder your other stripped wire to the negative side. Now I'd like to mention that my leads are a little short so I'm probably not going to be able to fit six LEDs on there that I originally planned to but I'm going to try to fit as much as I can. Now just make sure when you guys are planning out your project that your leads are long enough to accommodate how many LEDs you're going to be wiring. So next what we need to do is decide what side of our LED is positive and what side of our LED is negative so we can solder it to the right lead. So go ahead and take your LED and looking at your LED you notice that one leg is longer than the other. Now our longer leg is actually our positive leg and our shorter leg is actually our negative leg. So now that we know what leg is positive and what leg is negative we're ready to go ahead and solder this LED to the leads. So what I went ahead and did is I bent the legs of my LEDs so they'll fit on my leads. On the left side here we have our positive lead, you can see the resistor there, and on the right side we have actually our negative lead. Now what you need to do is, is match all the positive legs from the LEDs onto the positive lead. Now make sure they're all on the same side, and then match all your negative legs coming off your LED to the negative lead on the right side there. So then all you have to do is solder the contact point where it makes contact with the leg and the lead together to the wire. Now just make sure when you're soldering your LEDs that you have all the LEDs facing the right way on the right side. If you don't, that LED will not work correctly. So here we are, we're almost finished. Now I just like to mention we have a lot of excess legs that are coming off the leads here. So what we could go ahead and do is just take some wire cutters and just cut those off. We don't be needing those. And also this exposed extra wire on the leads coming up on top there. Now, last thing what you want to do is ex cover all this exposed wire with electrical tape. That way, if one wire touches the other side, it will not short out your LEDs. So here I went ahead and covered up all the exposed wire with the electrical tape, and we are basically done. All we need to do is put batteries in our battery power supply, and we're ready to connect it in and see if it works. And that concludes my video on how to wire multiple LEDs in a parallel circuit. I'd like to thank all you guys for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe for more and upcoming videos. Thank you.